so we are now on to the final part of our web page construction. You'll maybe notice there's this one footer part missing. So all we need to do is create that with a new module position. We'll call it footer. And we'll select the module position of footer. Let's turn this uh, editor back on. We'll just go grab the copy directly from the mock up. Let's nab that side as well. We'll put that in. And we're going to grab that and we're going to text align that to the left. And we'll take that and we'll text align it to the right. And we also actually want to create some. CSS for this, so we're going to use JCE, the CSS star creator. If we select the uh, the box and we float that paragraph to the left, we'll see what already the uh, second part is getting in line with it. We're actually going to float that to the right as well, just to be sure update that and we see that we've already got what appears to be the right layout, the right format. You can see that that uh, extra CSS is in there now so we'll save and close that, go back to our home page, give that a refresh and we'll see down the bottom we've got the start of our footer area so we're just going to inspect that let's get that up into view and uh, well the first thing we'll need to do is actually get some color into that so let's uh, select that and grab the color from uh, from the hex option there and uh, it's actually on the wrong div at the moment. So if we just select the div above it, the footer wrapper, that's the one we've got to start. There's the one with the current grey background. We're going to swap that out for the hex number we just got. And we'll see there that it's changed already. Now we need to add a border to the top to recreate that little grey border. We'll give that 4px because it was quite a tall one. And we'll put in some colour on that as well to keep it in keeping with our mock looking great so I'd say that was looking a lot like it now we need to get that into two, uh, line 276 we're going to paste that into our CSS now line 276 is what we're after so we'll go find that Paste that whole block into that footer wrapper ID. There it goes, quick save. And a refresh, and we're good to go. Right, so next up is we need to style the actual text here. So we need to add a bit of a little bit of margin to the left and right, a little bit of padding perhaps to the left and right of this um, text here, but if we add it to the actual footer ID we'll see, we'll see that uh, whether it's margin or padding that's not where we need to add it. Where we need to add it is actually on the P's themselves. But of course if we add it to the P tag here it'll affect the entire template so we're going to do our old trick of copying the CSS path and honing in on that div footer ID that ends with that P. We'll create a new class for that a refresh on the home page and then you'll see that we'll have our usual access 
to edit what we like in here. So we'll give it some margin. Reset it first and then we'll give it some left and right using the second number there and I'll probably give it some height as well. Um, might be just a touch too much. Oops. Just uh, take that down a touch. That's more like it. Get that back to... Yeah, that's probably about right, I'd say. So now we've got our left and right. And... I think we're going to drop the font size down to... Something a bit more footer -esque. Might be a little bit too small. That's more like it. And of course, our mock. The colour was... White. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. If we uh, have a quick look at our mock, I'd say that was uh, quite close. I think maybe the letter spacing might need a little minus on it. Oh, maybe that isn't a little bit too much. No, I think we'll leave that as it was. Just clear that out and it'll disappear. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. That looks good. I think perhaps we should copy that and get it into our new, on top of our new class. Save that up. I think perhaps just the top of that border might just need a couple more px. Just the one. There you go. Two seven six. We're just going to put an extra px on the top there, just to make it look perfect. So save that up. Let's head back to our home page. We'll give that a refresh, and there we have it. We have a completed web template with all the pages ready to add content and imagery all in place all the styling across the entire site is in place the footer area ready to take some links and all done in just a little under 56 minutes